My name is Karthik. I am from Informatica's Global Customer Support Team. In this video KB, we are going to demonstrate on how to access Hadoop based objects from Analyst Tool in Big Data Management 10.1.1. The agenda for this video is to, to get to know on what are the Hadoop objects that we support with Analyst Tool. So we do support Hive, which is a uh, table structure or a relational structure and we also support the HDFS for a flat file object. So in this demonstration, we're going to use Analyst Tool to create these two Hadoop objects. We will now log into Informatic Analyst. So, so we have two options, either to create a table data object or flat file data object. So when we create a flat file data object, we can specify the HDFS connection and we can read the data from there. So we'll first try flat file data object for HDFS and then we'll try the table data object to associate the hive connection and import a hive table. These are the two activities that we are going to perform in this video. So the flat file data object connection will be created. So we have three options. So we are going to use the third option to, to add a flat file here. The Hadoop file system option. We have to specify. So these are the options that are available for us to specify what is the file we are using. So the first one is to choose the HDFS connection. So we already created the HDFS and then we're going to associate it. And then we have to specify the path, the directory path on HDFS for this specific source file name. So we are going to provide the path. The file name is allcustomers.csv and we can also look at the directory on the HDFS which is tutorials is the location where we can find the all customers table. So we are going to specify the tutorials folder here. So I'm not using any compression format, so we don't need to specify anything here. And a sample file has to be given so that analyst knows what is the structure of the specific HDFS file that is available on Hadoop. So I downloaded the file that is available on HDFS for our purposes. So let's use all customers.csv file here. Limited. While we are creating the add flat file, so in this step, so the structure is based on the file that is uploaded right now. It is not taken from the HDFS. So if you see, we have column names as the first entry, first row in the file. So we are going to use these options, import from fresh line. And then we can go for next. And we can also see the data that is that exists in this specific file. And we can say next. Let's select the project in which we have to store the all customers flat file data object. So we don't have any other flat files. So this is the first file we are going to create. Select finish. So the data object is created and we are going to preview the data from HDFS. This may take some time uh, because of the number of records that are available in the on the HDFS. So we can see all the data on the HDFS from Analyst now. So this is the steps that we have taken to create an HDFS file from Analyst. Now let's create a new table data object. This is to demonstrate the Hive. So we have Hive connection. So from Analyst, we can see what are the tables that are available on Hive. So we can select the M and Jobs 
as a table and if you want you can also select the data preview as well so first select the object first and then you can see the data and in the properties you can see the structure of the hive table let's go next and you can select the project in which you want to store the am underscore jobs object select finish we are now going to preview the data that is available in the hive data object so now we can see the data that is available in on hive data object so if you want to know more details on how to create the data objects from an analyst tool you can refer the analyst tool user guide that contains all these details we would love to hear from you on this support video please write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com you can also follow us on twitter and you can provide your feedback on this video thank you